Published 0241 EDT, 24 September 2017 Updated 0706 EDT, 24 September 2017 Mount Agung in Karangasam on the Indonesian resort island of Bali More than 34,000 people have fled from a rumbling volcano on the resort island of Bali as the magnitude of tremors grows prompting fears it could erupt for the first time in more than 50 years, an official said Sunday. Indonesia's disaster mitigation agency said the number of people fleeing their homes surrounding the volcano had tripled since Friday amid growing alarm that Mount Agung could erupt at any moment. The evacuation process is ongoing, and we expect the number of evacuees to continue to rise, the agency spokesman Sutopo Perwonagroho told AFP. The volcano the highest point in Bali and located about 75 kilometers 50 miles from the tourist hub of Kuta, has been rumbling since August. Officials announced the highest possible alert level on Friday following the increasing volcanic activity, and urged people stay at least 9 kilometers away from the crater. I'm actually very worried to leave, I left my cows and pigs at home, because we were ordered to vacate our village immediately, villager Naomi who fled with her entire family told AFP. Villagers eat at an evacuation center in Karangasam on the Indonesian resort island of Bali The international airport in Balas capital, Denpasar, was anticipating the prospect of closure, but no flight schedules had been affected as of Sunday. The airport has prepared buses and trains to divert passengers to alternative hubs in neighboring provinces, if the mountain erupts. Flight disruptions due to drifting ash clouds are not uncommon in Indonesia which sits on a belt of seismic activity, known as the Ring of Fire. Last year more than two dozen domestic and international flights to Balas neighboring resort island Lombok were cancelled due to a drifting ash cloud from erupting Mount Ranjani. Bali officials said the island was still generally safe, but urged tourists to stay away from tourism spots located within the danger zone. Pura Besika Temple, one of Bali's most prominent temples which is located just a few kilometers away from the mountain slopes, has been closed to visitors since Saturday. Tremors growing The Indonesian Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation said the tremors had grown more powerful on Sunday. The mountain has not erupted until now. The earthquakes are happening less frequently, but the magnitude is getting stronger, Jeed Swantika, a senior volcanologist at the agency told AFP. Indonesia is home to around 130 volcanoes due to its position on the Ring of Fire, a belt of tectonic plate boundaries circling the Pacific Ocean, where frequent seismic activity occurs. Bali officials said the island was still generally safe, but urged tourists to stay outside the danger zone. The volcano agency's chief Kaspani said Mount Agung had a history of major eruptions that eclipsed recent episodes in Indonesia, including the 2010 eruption of Mount Merapi in central Java, that claimed at least 350 lives. The 1963 eruption of Mount Agung killed more than 1,000 people and devastated many villages. The 2010 Merapi eruption, which also forced hundreds of thousands of villagers to flee, was that mountain's biggest since 1872. However, it was ten times smaller than Mount Agung's 1963 eruption. We hope this time it will not be that big, but we need to be prepared for the worst-case scenario and prioritize vigilance, Kaspani told Metro TV. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.